Hello and welcome. What we're doing is we're finding the two binomials that multiply the polynomial below. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, essentially what we're doing is factoring here. So I'd pause the video, try it on your own, and then hit resume when you're ready to talk about it. Okay, so we need uh, two binomials. You can see that each of our choices we have binomials being multiplied. Uh, for example, x plus 4 is one binomial, two terms, x and 4 are the two terms. And then here, x and negative 5 are our second two terms uh, in the second factor here. So they're both binomials, and we're calling them factors because, remember, that's what we call values when we're multiplying. Um, so the way I would do this is I would set up an area model. And I know that the goal, the area, is actually this trinomial here. I'm saying that this area represents x squared minus 4x minus 45. And if I put x squared up here in the upper left region, we'll make four regions. They're not really equal regions. I'm just too lazy to try to set this model up to a better scale. Uh, since we don't know what x is, I guess you can't really even do that. But what I'm saying is if you have x squared in this area right here, you can think of that as x times x, right? x times x is x squared. Then I put my constant in this region. I don't have to do that, but it seems to help me. Uh, especially in this problem. Now I need two factors of negative 45 that add a negative 4. So if I think about this, I need to multiply a negative 45. So we've got one positive and one negative factor. Think about that, right? Because to multiply the two numbers, I get negative 45. The only way to do that is if one factor is positive and the other factor is negative. So that means I'm going to want to use some combination of 9 and 5. Those are 4 apart, right? So I want to get that 4 right there. And, I'm, and I notice I'm getting negative 4, so I'm going to need a negative 9 and a positive 5. Why is that? Well, let's just take a look and multiply this out. So in this upper right region, is negative 9x, right? Negative 9 times x is negative 9x. In the lower left region, it's 5 times x, so it's 5x, right? Now, what happens when we add these two and simplify, just to check that we have the right value? Well, if we do that, we have x squared. Okay, so I'll write that here, x squared. But here, we can add negative 9x and 5x. When we add them, we get negative 4x, which is exactly what we needed here. And the way I did that was by adding negative 9 and 5. In other words, the two factors have to add to negative 4. So I needed a negative 9 and a positive 5. The other way around, if it was negative 5 and positive 9, what would that have given me, right? So negative 9 plus 5 is what we're using, I guess it's negative 4. But if we had 9 plus negative 5, that would have given us a positive 4. And that would be what we're looking for if you had a positive 4 here in your b term, the middle term right there. The b, uh, the coefficient of x, excuse me. So if that coefficient of x was positive 4, you would switch it around. Also, those two numbers need to multiply negative 45 to get this area here, right? So that's why one has to be positive and the other negative. What does all this mean? Well, it means that our two factors that answer this question are x minus 9 and x plus 5. And you can see that x minus 9 and plus 5 is right here, choice C. Thanks.